the people of the internet and welcome to day 26 of Red Instead Autism Awareness Month. I need to hurry because my, I'm almost out of space on my SD card. Uh, so let's get started. Um, I think a lot of people... Um, you know, honestly, let's not make this a video where I talk about the current events. I promise not to mention them. Um, I've been more or less studying from home for the last it's almost been four years which four years which is quite a long time hello cat it's longer than I've had this cat although she's 18 so clearly I haven't had her all her life um, but um, yeah I've been studying from home for a long time so I kind of wanted to talk about how I do that I had this idea before anything happened, you know? <laughs> um, and I wanted to share a bit of the things that I've learned from all of that. Wow. Um, so first of all, the first thing that I found was that... Don't get a cat that meows all the time. No. <laughs> Sorry, Emmy. Um, is actually finding a routine that works for you and that may be standing up at five in the morning it may be standing up at 12 and but working until three at night and just working that out by finding the times that you actually are productive and for me that is sort of more or less late in in the evening and night I try not to make it too late because at some point you miss, you know, with biorhythms and stuff. But it's just basically it's when it's dark because, and I'm filming this right while it's dark, I don't think you can see that. But anyway, um, because that's, I don't know, the light just distracts me. And I mean, I also get migraines from going out when it's light so you know <laughs> light is just too much light is just distracting so I work best when it's dark so I sort of built my schedule around that and also just sometimes you know if doing it if there's something that you need to get done if doing it all in one day is what's going to get it done then that's what you do and I sort of do that because I have a lot of difficulty, you know, being autistic with switching from one task to another, especially if they're not related to each other in any sort of way. So what I do is I have days for stuff. And one day, um, unless something's really urgent, I only do that thing. For example, I do a uni day and I only do things for university. And if there's, you know, laundry lying around everywhere, then there's laundry uh, lying around everywhere. And, and I'll get to that when I do like an administrative day. And it's sort of, it, that also kind of gets me on task a little bit better than if you'd like think, oh, I have to do the laundry sometime the day as well, because that's, if you know that you'll be doing it tomorrow because tomorrow or is, a day where you do that sort of stuff it kind of gets a little bit of that you know procrastination idea away and also sometimes you just you actually need to make things harder for yourself i found that because some things are just boring and you'll avoid them because they're boring and so i've for example i've combined having to write reports with learning to code just because i knew that writing the bibliography and you know doing all the formatting would be so boring that i decided instead to learn coding and build myself um a piece of code program that i just had to enter the information in and it would spit out the right format and you know that it took me longer than uh, it would have taken me otherwise but it made it interesting and that made it get done and also it's sort of 
in my daily sort of routine life thing uh, I don't really have like fixed times for do to do stuff I have routines obviously I'm autistic but um, I for example I have um, since one part that I'm doing is creative writing is uh, like as a, as a degree as an official thing <laughs> um, and that's the thing that I started with it's um, I have to do reading for that so and so I do that actually after I wake up just while still lying in bed the first thing is that I just I read a chapter and that's always the same thing and it doesn't really matter when I wake up it's just that I do that after I wake up and so on and all those routines that aren't really time-based they're after I do this I do this which I've I've heard someone explain who knows more about n neurology and stuff like that psychology than me that the brain can actually remember sort of sequences better than you know set times so sort of also for specific tasks saying I will do this after I've done this and the thing that you're doing before might be something that you enjoy or something that you'll do anyway um and then also just just as much as you have days for stuff and I had to kind of learn this the hard way in a way uh, you also have to take days off sometimes I think especially if you like really if you do actually like doing something can you can get into a bit of a spiral where you think you have to do stuff every day um, because you know you're always you don't have that separation between workspace and home home space and sort of as much as you ha as I have days for certain days for stuff I have days off where I'm not doing anything that I just a day and I shall do whatever comes to my mind and if that's watching TV all day that's watching TV all day and just sort of days to kind of recharge and not think about whatever you're studying or having to work on or whatever and with that also I think comes kind of accepting that there'll be unproductive days and you know that's okay <laughs> that happens and it happens when you go to university or do just go to work normally you have days where you can't concentrate and or just things are just just keep happening that weren't supposed to happen and just sometimes that's just the way it is and then there's not really any use of being mad about it you just kind of have to accept accept that and move on and there'll be another day where that will be better so yeah that's kind of what I wanted to talk about and mention I originally wanted to talk a little bit more about what my day was actually like but then I realized I just did probably a couple of days ago did the good days bad days um, comparison so I thought that was a little bit useless <laughs> so anyway I hope that you've enjoyed this video maybe it's helped someone maybe not I don't know um, and if it did I would hope that you would subscribe to me slash this channel if you haven't already and um, I will see you tomorrow goodbye